What's up guys, back with another video. This time we got the turtles again. Now, I'm not quite sure what the deal is with uh, the uh, two Mississippi map turtles, meaning this guy right here and this guy up here. Uh, but as you can clearly tell, one of them based off the size of their tail is a female and one is a male. Could this be a potential breeding pair? I don't know, but uh, I'm sure time will tell us uh, and time will definitely start telling us when we get them outside because right now there is nowhere in here for them to actually lay eggs uh, but that is going to uh, change with the outdoor habitat that I have for them uh, and it is going to look a lot nicer and better than this one so What do we say about that? I don't know. We will find out, and I'm sure these guys will tell us in time. But uh, just for the record, I also did take the uh, Danios and put them back into this tank uh, because they were in the 30 gallon before, which is now being inhabited by our new friend, the Axolotl. And uh, I am excited that he is in there. So. You know, these are going to be some fun days when we get them out into the outdoor habitat. And uh, hopefully we'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in, guys. That's all I got for you today. Until next time, see you later. So the other thing I should mention is that I don't even know if any of these turtles in my tank are sexually mature yet so I'm not even sure if breeding is an actual option because this turtle right here is only about four inches long maybe five that one over there is about the same so this one right here looks like the female and this one over here is the male you know, I'm having a hard time believing that a four inch turtle is in fact sexually mature, but maybe I am wrong, maybe they are, and I just don't realize it. I don't know, we shall see. All right guys, until next time, later.